the CJ2 Sprinter Squad. This one um, is similar to the ski jump, but it's a squat pattern where I'm going to be in a slight stagger stance. Slight, you know, just very short stagger stance. Pretty much the same of a sprinters in the starting blocks. Okay, let's, let me show you. So now, as supposed to be hip width, I'm going to be slightly staggered. Okay, but notice that my ankle is lined up with the pig. That's a coaching cue that it's a good starting point, and you can adjust as needed. Okay. So from here, I squat, grab the handles, I'm going to lean forward, and I'm leaning forward because I'm trying to find that good blend of gravity and friction so I can get my diagonal line or angle, okay? Your front foot should be the one mostly loaded, okay? So I'm here I'm going to lean forward, okay? Now, notice that I'm breaking at the hip a little bit, okay? And I'm rounding my back a little bit, and my head is coming down, okay? Similar to a sprinter on the block. Okay, why? Because I'm trying to release any potential stress on my lumbar spine. Okay, and then from here, I get into knee flexion and extension. Okay, and again, this is the load you're going to feel to be mostly on the front leg. It's a good blend of your uh, your calf muscle, quad, and glutes right here. Okay, and the same. The change in here, repeat. See, and I don't know if you can notice, but I kind of shift the bar as needed to the front leg. See, now I'm leaning a little bit to that left, just to focus more on that low. Okay, now, if you bring it to the middle, what you're going to do is, you're going to start feeling how the force kind of get even on both feet, okay? Personally, I like to stretch more and shift the load to the front one. One thing I want to point out is that your staggered stance is such that your back toes are lined up with the front midfoot, okay? And that created a nice, I mean, it created a nice uh, base of support. So you can lean forward, okay? So one more time. I'm here, load, lean forward. Find my groove right there. And perform. I mean, I usually like to go 90 degrees from knee right there. And up, okay? Down and up. So as you can tell, the CJ2 Sprinter Squad the ski jumper and the squat to press, those movements, they, what they have in common is forward and pin. Okay? That's really one of the main uh, benefits of doing the landmine training to leverage, I would say, the overload, or overrated, overrated uh, vertical squat pattern with more diagonal squat pattern. This one that I've been showing you has been more uh, mostly facing in.